I'm a former visa officer and I'm an expert at what happens during a visa interview. When you go into that visa interview and you stand in line at the embassy or the consulate, and you hand in your forms there, and then you're going to speak with an American consular official, a visa officer, I'm an expert at what happens at that interview, why those visa officers make those decisions, and I can help you prepare for an interview, interview preparation to help you pass that crux of your application, where if the visa officer says yes, then you get your application approved. If the visa officer says no, you're not going to know why, but you're not going to get your visa. I am not an immigration attorney. I want to make the, the difference clear between what I'm doing and what immigration attorneys are doing. Immigration attorneys are giving you legal advice. Immigration attorneys can fill out your forms for you. They can file petitions on your behalf. Uh, they can communicate to the embassy or the consulate uh, as your representative. Uh, they might not get much information in return from them, but they can do all these things for you. But there's one part of the immigration process, which is the consular interview, what the immigration attorneys would call consular processing or stamping, where there's not much visibility into it. The embassy is not transparent. The consulates are not transparent. They do not tell you what's happening. They do not have any obligation to share lots of information with you. So immigration attorneys even will rely on us for our expertise and our experience having worked on the inside. They know what the, the law says. But the regulations given to the visa officers and the directives given to them by their managers sometimes will not necessarily be different from the law, but what their priorities are, are different. And they also may do things that aren't in the law at all. It's just procedural. It's how they do things on the inside in the government. So I draw on my deep history as a visa officer. I did it for uh, many years, did over 60,000 visa interviews, and the entire team at Argo have done over 1 million visa interviews. We draw on that experience, having worked in 35 different visa posts, embassies and consulates around the world, to bring that expertise and advice to you so that you can prepare to pass your visa interview knowing how will the visa officer interpret certain information that you give them at the visa interview, right? How do you grab their attention? How do you let them know what your highlights are? Right? You'll have a lot of documents that are prepared, maybe petitions, maybe applications, maybe letters from your attorney. But if the visa officer doesn't even read them, they're not going to help you get your visa issued. Right. So we bring our knowledge of the regulations, our knowledge of the processes and the procedures, and also our knowledge of the psychology to help you go into your visa interview and come out successfully having your visa issued.